and welcome to the Futurum Live from the show floor. I'm your host, Stephen Dickens, joined today by Chris and Josh from 21CS. Hi guys, welcome to the show. Hi, thank you. Thanks for having us. So, really looking forward to this episode. We've got a bit of craziness going on, so you may hear some random noises in the background. We're wrapping up here at Share in New Orleans. They're breaking down the show behind us, so it's been a crazy couple of hours here. But first off, just to get the listeners orientated, let's maybe start with you, Chris. What do you do for 21CS? I am a software engineer for 21CS. Uh, what I do is I take our aging applications uh, that uh, you know, have these green screen interfaces that people need to interact with, and I turn them into web interfaces that are going to be you know, more familiar uh, and user friendly for people who are coming on to the mainframe and aren't used to working with these you know, terminal green screens. Yeah, fantastic. And you, Josh? Yeah, so I'm an implementation specialist. I help um, customers implement uh, a number of our products. Um, I also help them migrate from competitors' products into our products that we have here. Fantastic. So and I've had Nick, your CEO, on the show previously. 21CS is kind of leaning into the whole skills, growing the community. You guys are younger in your career, and I know that's been a big part of sort of coming into 21CS. Tell me a little bit about first experiences, you know, access to green screens, maybe go to you first. What's that initial experience been coming onto the mainframe platform? It's intimidating. Um, probably more so than it actually needed to be. You know, I, I was very in my head about it because you hear the mainframe and you think of this monolithic aging, you know, you think of the, the 1960s and these big boxes. Yeah, room right? full of equipment, massive tape drives. And, yeah. and, and you know, you hear about these people who are writing in these languages which you've never heard of in school, or yeah. if you did it, you know, it's... Rex and JCL and yeah. Yeah, and it, so it was interesting coming onto it because I was able to jump in right with Java and uh, do some web programming and being able to work in a Linux environment on the mainframe is far less intimidating. I think that's what a lot of uh, the newer people are, that are coming onto it, that's the experience that they're going to have. Yeah, and you, Josh? Yeah, so I kind of took a different route than Chris. I actually went, had some mainframe classes when I went to college. I got okay. the uh, intro course and I did a little bit of um, COBOL programming. Everybody's got to do COBOL yeah, just programming a at one point, right? <laughs> I have a fat uh, textbook of just COBOL programming. COBOL for I'm, beginners yeah, yeah. is on your shelf. But um, I, you know, I started to enjoy working with um, the green screen. I, I, if I, I found it a little intimidating at yeah. first, but then I got thrown into uh, actually being an infrastructure administrator at an insurance company, and I got to see firsthand the data centers and wh how it actually works behind the scenes. And uh, that's kind of how I, I progressed through uh, my career to this point. So tell us a little bit about some of those early days at CS, 21CS, kind of. I know that you guys are doing a lot to bring new mainframers into the community. Tell us a little bit about kind of your cohort of sort of more early stage professionals coming through the ranks at 21CS. I think with us, we're doing a lot of training from the start. So when I got on, when I joined 21st Century, uh, or 20CS. <laughs> I'm still <laughs> learning the brand. I know you guys have just rebranded. You're fine. We sat with a bunch of our, um, you know, the people that know the products a lot more and they give a great breakdown of how it works and almost had a mentorship with people. Um, and that's crucial, I think. Yeah. It's not just go study, mm -hmm. go hit the books, go do some training and technical programs. Yeah. It's about getting that experience from some of those experienced hires and those more seasoned professionals, right. I and think. It, I think it was good that they brought us on early into you know customer situation or customer call so you could see firsthand how things are working and you, your mind can get adjusted. You're not going to pick it up from a textbook. Yeah, exactly. And for me, I, I learn hands-on pretty quickly. I can't sit there and read a yeah. whole manual. I need to see the real life, it, what, what's going on. And the same for you, Chris? Yeah, and uh, you know, I think this is something that's not just unique to 21CS, this um, you know, very hands-on mentorship. I think it's main, the industry-wide uh, where they don't expect you to know what you're doing coming into it like a lot of uh, tech careers do, right? The kind of common adage is you need experience to get a job, but you don't, you can't get a job without the experience, yeah. right? Or you can't get the experience without having a job first. And I think the mainframe community is kind of unique in that regard. It's like, if you're interested, 
you're willing to put the hard work in but you've got no experience there's a pathway in the mainframe community is that that's how it comes across oh absolutely i would say if you're thinking about a career in tech and you want to make sure that you know you can get a job going into it and get the experience you need getting onto the mainframe is both a great way to get that experience and it's has great long-term career options in it as well. Yeah, and you talked about some of the sort of technical barriers. I think there is some technical barriers. I mean, we should acknowledge that. But I don't think there's some of the experience and career barriers that maybe there are some other techs. And maybe the tech's a little harder, mm -hmm. but the expectation's a little lower. So those two balance that. That's how I certainly see it. Sure. I would even go as far as to say is uh, the expectation is almost none at all. They don't really expect expect you to know anything about the mainframe. They're willing to take you on and teach you everything that you need to know to be successful. Yeah, and that's crucial. And to building off his point, I, th I think everybody I've met within the mainframe community has welcomed us with open arms. They want to see, you know, the younger generation succeed and have the skills necessary to continue to um, progress in their career. And we see that at events like Share, there's so much focus on getting newer people on into the platform. I had Scott Fagan, the pr president to share. He's really, really passionate about getting people like yourselves onto this platform and providing those pathways as people look to come through. So tell us a little bit, about, as you see, where do you see that next sort of next few years for you in the mainframe? You know, you've obviously established now, starting to understand some of the technology. Where do you see yourself going forward? We'll go with you first, Josh. Yeah, that's a good question. Um, myself, I enjoy working with customers. So one of the things that I want to really focus on is making uh, customers' lives easier with a lot of our products. How can we implement things in a sense that it's low pressure, no, no problems for them? Uh, obviously, you'll run into some issues here and there. It's part of the nature. Yeah. But, uh, I just want to find a way that we can implement our products in a way that it, it, you know, somebody with years of experience doesn't really need to know what it does. Yeah, I think 21CS uh, in particular offers uh, a lot of opportunities. They're a company that wants to bring on a lot of new people, that wants to put them in positions uh, to be successful. They want them to find a career path that interests them rather than just being on a track. Mm -hmm. um, you know, kind of in the wind. Yeah. And I, where I see myself is, like Josh, I like to improve those customer experiences. But um, where, you know, he's on the, the implementation side and, you know, working very uh, close with customers, I'm more on the tech side. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of my career has been spent talking with these customers, figuring out the technical requirements, and then going and making these action plans with our development teams and uh, uh, you know, getting those, those enhancements that they want to see in, into the products, which uh, I'm looking to do more of. Well, I mean, chatting to a bunch of the 21CS guys, we've had Eddie on the show, we've had Nick on the show, that focus on customers really comes through. So thank you so much for sharing your experiences. Great to see some younger faces in the mainframe. Thanks very much for joining us on the yeah. show. Yeah, thanks, thanks so much for having, for having us. us on. Well, thanks very much for that. You've been watching Futurum live from the show floor here at Share. Thank you so much. Please click and subscribe and we'll see you next time.